Um, yeah, the other th problem that we had with one of our locations was in the alleyway when we went to shoot the big infamous fight scene. Um, we shot it before and we used that alleyway. It, it was fine. Well, that day we got there, we had um, set up this day, had all the actors there, had a crew there, and we were setting up. And just then we realized that there was a motorcycle rally going on at the end of the alley. And so over the course of our four hour shoot, we had more than 300 motorcycles going past and making all this noise. We would call action and the motorcycle would go by. So we would have to call cut and wait patiently for them to go. And then there'd be a little bit of a, little bit of a break. So we would shoot as much as we could. And then we had to stop and wait for the motorcycles. It was, it was awful. <laughs> um, one of the other places that we went to go look at was this brick wall that was actually our first day of shooting. We had gone and scouted it out. We're like, yep, this is a good place. It's a quiet road. You know, there's not that many cars going by or anything. We should just be able to shoot it. And we got there the day of the shooting, and it was wild. We, there was cars going by all the time. We had nonstop noise, nonstop action, and trying to fit in a little bit of acting in there when we could. I couldn't remember their lines. It was crazy. My favorite part of making the movie actually is editing, sitting down with all of your scenes and just putting them together. It's kind of like a, a jigsaw puzzle. You sit down and um, you use your script kind of like the front of the box with the picture and then you have all these hundreds of clips that you have to try and put together and you, put these two next to each other and say, nope, that one doesn't work after this one, put another one, try them, cut them, see if you can get them together. But that's really where the story comes together, where you can really put it all together and it makes sense, it makes a story. And the editor really has a lot of control over the story. He can sit there and, and change it, you know, he can make it um, happy, he can make he can bring laughs, he can make you cry, he can do everything about the story the editor has control over. And so I really like putting the story together, making it all make sense, making people look good, making those that you don't like look bad. Um, no, I've never done that. <laughs> um, Ron, maybe, but never me. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, that's my favorite. Um, this movie was the first really big project we'd done since Bradley of Summer, but um, there were a lot of things, you know, the same. So we used the forest scene again, we used different locations, some different themes, and it's a kid's movie, so you just have a lot of the same things, use the same camera, but the movie is so different than that. This movie is, you know, it, it's kind of a parable. It's got um, good, what am I thinking, good themes, and uh, really realistic characters. Our characters are really real, and we worked a lot on character development in this movie, versus just all the fun of Bradley Summer. Um, we also knew a lot more. We knew what we were doing a lot more in this movie than we did in the last one. We were so lost in Bradley Summer and we were in about 10 feet under, you know. We were just, just going crazy. But this movie we were a little bit more level-headed and we knew what we were doing. We also did a lot more with lighting. Um, we used a lamp and set it up and so that we would get, you know, really vibrant colors instead of sometimes, you know, the dull colors. Uh, we were really working on the, what we like to call the Disney effect, making it all really colorful and all of our right, reds really br red and our, our yellows really yellow and, you know, all the different colors, just making them really vibrant. So, um, I hope you like the movie. Um, it'll make you laugh, it'll make you cry, and I uh, just hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.